these tools are continuing to grow exponentially in power. outside Sydney Olympic Park and there are like lights and signs and tech everywhere. But no, I don't know, I just feel really disconnected. Yeah, I just feel really not social. I just don't feel social at all. I feel like I by myself and I can't tell anybody about um, anything and oh it's not a really nice feeling everything's kind of everything's kind of inside it's really weird I, I feel worried like something is wrong content that is wearable so google glasses or like those microchips you put in your hand to get into work will we find the need to be human as we know it now useful i think that we can uh, truly get australians to change their thinking on this issue and actually come up with a policy that is so the other thing that i want to report about my technology day is that uh, i feel a bit isolated from the real world if we spend less time on things like hunting and less time on things like um, traveling or running really fast, do we then have more time to work on our brains? Are we just going to become huge brains in the future? Oh, 
This experiment, the four of us discovered that we greatly depend on technology. So much so, that even on our non-tech days, we were still using technology. We were never able to completely live a full day without it. We also began to question what could be considered technology aside from our iPhones, televisions, laptops and our social media accounts. Should refrigerators, cars, public transport, kettles and air conditioning be considered during this experiment, we decided that would be too difficult. Is technology already an extension of our lives, 